Let's take a look at the transportation warehousing industry in Charlotte. Starting with, where are these jobs locally? And so in the map of Mecklenburg County that you can see on the screen, you can see these transportation jobs are clustered largely around the western and northern parts of the county, with a particularly strong concentration in zip code 28208 and 28219, both just west of Uptown. Looking at this industry as, as a whole, we can see that this industry employed over 50,000 individuals last year, above the national average for a similarly sized area. And in terms of average earnings, we are just below the, the national average at 64000 but again, still strong earnings there. Looking at the month-over-month -month demand for new hires and job postings, we can see just under 600 new job postings in this industry monthly. So again, continual growth in this industry. And looking at that over a longer time horizon, we can see that there was some pretty, pretty remarkable growth for this industry over the past five years. 48% growth between 2016 and 2021, driven in large part by the pandemic and some of the, the benefits this industry was able to realize from the pandemic. We're also expecting just under 20% growth over the next five years here locally, continuing to outpace the national average. Looking at the diversity of workers in this industry, we see that this industry is right about average risk for retirements, which is important with the aging population nationally, as well as the rise in retirements we've seen as a result of the pandemic. In terms of racial diversity, this industry is above average nationally, with over 26,000 racially diverse individuals employed in this industry. And in terms of gender diversity, also a diverse in industry with over 17,000 women employed, again, above the national average. Looking at the unemployment trends for this industry, we see the impact of the pandemic on this industry. And while we see some recovery in late 2021, we are not quite at pre-pandemic levels of unemployment for this industry, suggesting that despite all that growth, not all companies are equally situated and some have been benefiting from the pandemic while others are continuing to suffer in this industry. And looking at the demographic breakdown in more detail, we can start with age here and we see that there is a, a large share of younger workers in this industry with just under 9% of individuals aged 19 to 24 working in this industry, just above the Mecklenburg County base rate of around 6%. Looking at that by race ethnicity, we can see this industry is predominantly white with over with around 48% of workers in this industry being white. Looking at the next closest, black or African American workers represent just under 41% of the workers in this industry, and they also represent roughly 32% of Mecklenburg County as a whole, so some strong diversity here in this industry. And looking at the gender breakdown, we can see this industry is, again, a male-dominated industry with two-thirds of workers being male in this industry. And looking at the top occupations in this industry, we're seeing transportation and material moving occupations far and away as the top occupation, followed by office and administrative support occupations. Looking at the top companies over the past year in terms of job postings, we can see on the left-hand side a lot of logistics companies uh, are the top employers here locally. And on the right-hand side, you can see the top occupations in demand. Obviously, truck drivers, forklift operators, and delivery drivers are some of the top occupations here locally. Looking at the top skills in demand for these occupations, we're seeing pretty consistent demand for warehousing as one of the top skills over the past two years. One skill we've seen some pretty wildly fluctuating demand for is truck driving. So again, in the height of the pandemic, this was one of those skills that was very much in demand and one was one of the top job postings we talked about over the past year. And that, that demand has actually fallen off a little bit over the past couple of years, and we've seen that go from the top skill down to around the middle of the pack in terms of demand. One skill we have seen uh, uh, some increase in demand for, although again, strong variation is data entry. So interesting to see the variation in the demand for this scale as well. And lastly, looking at the impact of this industry economically, starting with the earnings generated by this industry, we saw this industry generated over $3.6 in earnings for workers in our local economy. So a pretty significant contribution to earnings for our local economy and continuing to look at the economic development impact of this industry, 
Looking at it from a supply chain gap analysis perspective, we can see how this industry relates and connects with other industries here locally in terms of how they're doing business with those industries located locally in the region and what our, what our transportation industry has to import from other industries outside of our region. And so that's all I have for you today, but I hope you enjoyed today's quick update on the transportation industry here in Charlotte.